Hi everyone, Elliot here, Motown Living. So I'm at uh, day four of having lived in my motorhome now. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do for the, uh, the main part of this video is show you how I adjusted my sleeping loft to give me more space. Um, but I just thought I'd kind of give you an update on, on how things have been going, how I've been feeling about it. So, as you know from the first video, I managed to find a parking spot, which was my first choice. Um, and so basically, you know, I've, I've had no issues from any neighbours whatsoever. I'm, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm here because I, I know that I'm out of the way and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, nobody's really paid any attention to it. And what I've noticed over the the days of the so the working week is that you know there's kind of like van a lot of vans around there's, there's basically like quite quite a bit of industrial sort of uh work going on here so you, you hear noises from i've seen like um, a digger over the back i've seen a guy <clears throat> using a um what do you call those little kind of circular saw sort of things so you know that i'm sure the people here are kind of used to it being a bit let's say like i mean well i'll say that lively or, or noisy or whatever that's not what i'm um uh, been adding or anything but you know i, I don't think that uh, that they will see me as being any sort of um step up from the the disturbances that they you know they just see and see and hear every day anyway um so I've been feeling like really relaxed about being here. Um, not so security conscious as I thought I would be. Um, so, I mean, even though, you know, I lock the doors and, and everything when I, when I go out. Yeah, I don't worry about if I'm going out for an hour or if I'm going to work, come back after three hours. Yeah, seems fine. I, I don't really think there's anything to worry about. I mean, you know, obviously there's, there, there is still potential that uh, things can happen, break-ins and, and whatever. Um, but, you know, I, I, I wouldn't really guess that it's any more likely than a break-in of a, a normal house or a, a car anyway. So, you know, everyone's kind of going to be at some kind of risk um, in that sense. But, yeah, I mean, what can you do? If it happens, it happens. You've got to deal with it then. So how do I feel about how I've been settling in? It's been fine because I'm wanting to make it my place, which I think means a lot because obviously for you to feel settled somewhere, it's got to feel like it's your home. Um, and yeah, I've been doing like lots of things, constantly busy, just trying to sort out things just to make everything as smooth and comfortable as possible, as, as soon as possible. So there's been, um, yeah, it's just like been figuring things out. Um, I've got, you know, still got a few boxes. I'm going to have to put those into my friend's uh, garage, like I told you before. Um, but even like little details like this. Um, where is it there? That painting that I've got on the wall. You know, just little things that, you know, they're, they're yours and it's like gives you memories. This was actually... Um, bought when I was over in Ecuador about uh, 10, 11 years ago. Um, I've got one up there, which is actually from when I lived in Slovakia. And even, you know, small details like, because I'd had a, like a load of stuff on here and I've been trying to get it um, tidied away, uh, that's about as far as I can get really at the moment. But I was always like throwing my coat <laughs> as I've actually done on there. But last night I just had this idea of just putting a hook in there. I'll probably put another one because I've got my bag on there. And, um, you know, it was such a, a pleasure really just to be able to hang up my coat. Instead of having it look messy on there like it just was. That's because I've been so busy with doing stuff. And... Um, so what this is now going to lead on to is me going through um, how I worked out how I could improve my sleeping loft. So what I'm doing right now is, remember I said that the, uh, 
the mattress topper that I got, which won't place on the kind of original mattress there, makes it a bit too high, too, a bit too close to the ceiling, so I wanted to do something about it. I was planning just to remove um, that kind of like um, the, the mattress at the bottom entirely, but I found out, of course, well, not of course, but the, the, the middle part is actually on a, on a quite a thick board because it's something that you can take out to give more kind of headspace in the uh, kind of like the driving cab area. So I thought, well, if I take that out and just put my mattress topper on there, then it's going to flop over the, the sides and the end. So I'm going to have to build that up a little bit anyway. It will still take it down maybe about four centimeters or something like that. It's like well, it's, it's about the best I can uh, uh, go for. I might as well give it a try. So I thought, well, <clears throat> the best thing would then just to be to make some kind of boards around it. It would be much easier to to show you show you with the uh, the diagram. So you see where that section with the X is. That's the board that's already there. Um, so I've got three other pieces. The one for the head for the feet and then for the other side. Um, so I just like measured everything out and um, just round the, the back of the wall where I'm parked, um, I noticed that this is kind of like just a disused area and um, there was lot, lots of wood round here. So I thought I'd have a look. And I found some they're kind of like off desks or well, this, yeah, this bit is anyway. So I've started cutting through it. I've already cut um, the, the, the one end off to make it the right length. Um, but then quite annoyingly, I've just got to cut a little bit off there just so it will actually fit in. So I'm sort of halfway through and I thought I might as well have a bit of a break and um, make a video of this. So I've got to cut that one down. So that will be the one alongside the, the X part. And then for the two ends, I'm going to make one out of this long piece. And then, oh yeah, I was, I was going to split this one sort of down the middle so I can have like two pieces together. But then I saw that there's a, a shelf over here. Now, a lot of this stuff is like really damp. It's a big pile of stuff over there. It's just really damp because it's exposed. But there's like a sort of collapsing roof. <laughs> over here which is just about sort of giving enough protection to make these bits dry so I noticed this shelf up here which is longer um, so instead of having to split that one down the middle um, I could um, get the one piece out of this and it looks to be in pretty decent shape pretty much the same thickness a tiny bit less than the, the board that's there so that's about the difference which is you know not going to be noticeable with it, the mattress on top. So I'm going to hope that that uh, works out. I'll come back to you when I've made more progress. This is how far I've got with the uh, those pieces for the the bed uh, base. <clears throat> um, so this big one <clears throat> here, just in case you get a bit confused with the cupboard doors and stuff. So this is the big one that will go alongside the middle piece that I showed you, and then this one is going to go across either the the feet or the head end. Um, I did start cutting another one of these, the same size, on that black shelf that I showed you. But the uh, the difficulty is it's it's actual ma actually made of proper wood, and you've got to cut along the grain. And um, those of you who don't really know about that, but when you're cutting along the grain in the wood. It's uh, really, really hard to get through. If you're cutting across the grain, so the grain is going like this way. Um, if you're cutting across, it cuts like straight through the fibres. It's it's pretty quick. But when you're cutting along them, yeah, it's uh, it's a nightmare. So I kind of started it. I've got about maybe about this far on it or something. Um, but I was just getting just too tired to to do it. So um, I'm going to come back to that tomorrow instead. So I'm on to day two now with um, with making that bed base. I've gone back to do uh, a bit more sawing of that big black shelf, um, which again is hard work, so I'm sort of doing it in stages. Got about halfway through the long side 
Got to go off and do some stuff on my computer. But the reason I'm sort of pointing the camera this way is because where I was, so in the van, like, um, you see uh, that, I'm going to try and sort of point there. That's where I sort of go in and then sort of go around the back of, of this um, to, to find all of that uh, um, thrown away stuff. <clears throat> and when I was there yesterday as well, um, there was a guy there um, getting in his van and uh, he said, oh, there's some uh, Caligas here if you want it. It's a full bottle, I think. And I was like, mm, okay, interesting. But because I'm sort of new to, uh, to using this van, I was like, well, I know that it's like LPG, which is uh, propane. <clears throat> I didn't really know what uh, type of gas Caligas was, but obviously, as you can see on there, it is propane as well. Um, I'm not sure if there is actually gas in there, but it feels pretty heavy. I mean, I know the bottles are heavy anyway, but it does feel like there is uh, some in there. So, um, so as it stands, I started off with some gas already in the... Um, <laughs> you'll probably see me doing this from time to time. I'm quite sort of fussy with being clean. I see something right, got to do it. Can't wait till I finish the video. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, so I've been quite lucky with having some gas, and it's, it's yeah, I, I, again, didn't know how much I'd got or anything. Um, I'll tell you what, let's actually put me on rather than you <laughs> looking at a gas canister all this time. Um, yeah, so I've, I've got to like see how long that lasts before I can get a, another one, really. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's it's good because I've got like you know the the solar panels on the roof. The 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 water tank was pretty full. There is one thing I've got to investigate. Actually, I did notice in the bathroom yesterday. So like in the the shower tray. <clears throat> Um, there was also like a uh, there's like a mat that goes over it for when you're not using the shower, and I, I went in there and it was like quite um, wet. I was like, oh, what's happened here? Pulled it up and it was absolutely dripping wet. The shower tray was not full, but like across the, the surface it was pretty covered. I was like, oh, where has this come from? And I thought, oh, must be the um, the waste water tank has has become full and it's backed up into there. <clears throat> So I was like, right, okay, so uh, how do I actually open this? So I went out looking around. I couldn't find one at all. I um, joined a, uh, a forum for other people who've got Talbot um, motorhomes and stuff. And um, like, I, I, I asked there, but I haven't got any sort of concrete answer. People are kind of like guessing and stuff and maybe it's been modified and moved somewhere else, but I just cannot see a tap. And I'm gonna need to find it out pretty soon because, yeah, I mean, you know, just you know, the water that goes down the sink, basically, um, it, it's gonna to get to a point where it needs to be emptied, isn't it? So, yeah, don't know what's going on with that. Hmm, I'll have to come back to it. Anyway, I'll leave it uh, there for now and I'll come back later when I have hopefully finished um, the pieces for the bed frame and I can actually put it together and check it out. I'm back in this kind of junk area, um, still getting through this. I've got mm, about two thirds of the way almost anyway. Uh, having a quick break and I just thought I'd have a look around see if there's anything else I could uh, uh, um, do with. <clears throat> and I found this um, what do you call these things? I can't even remember. Anyway, a thing, thing to collect water, and because it's water is dripping through here pretty constantly, I thought, hey, why not get some free water to put in my tank to use as cleaning water? Hey, why not? It's like, this is quite uh, an exciting thing about, about doing this, actually. I'm just kind of like thinking of like little sort of tricks um, that I can improve things with and I mean obviously say in this case it sort of just depends on uh, when it's raining but it's raining quite a bit at the moment where I am um, so because again it's just just around the corner from where I'm living I can easily just pop back and 
just leave that to collect some more water and I mean yeah, it's so cheap anyway buying bottled water but it's just a nice feeling you know what I mean oh, finally I'm through the the long side that's taken about 45 minutes just to get through there and progress on the water got about half a litre already it's a bit annoying I need to, need to get, get a funnel Just looking around trying to find something that could use as a funnel I'll have to get one so obviously speed up the process right gonna have a quick breather before I cut through the horizontal way so this is going across the grain like I was saying before that should be a lot quicker to get through okay as I thought, nice and quick, it took about two minutes to, uh, to cut this off. As you can see, it's uh, quite filthy though, covered in dust and that. And um, <laughs> I mean, this is, I, I really do sort of enjoy this kind of thing, because again, with all the, the junk around here, I thought, hmm, yeah, I've got some stuff in the, uh, the motorhome I could clean it with, but why not use this? Getting that dust off nicely. So, if you look hard enough, you can find anything really. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm quite enjoying doing all of this, to be fair. It's just fun, sort of, you know, being able to kind of reclaim things, uh, get free stuff. Water still filling up bit by bit. I tried using um, this. Bottle as a funnel, but it's, uh, it's too big. What you're saying, I'll sort that out. But yeah, probably tell from my voice that I am really kind of enjoying this. It's really is like an adventure, and uh, yeah. So once I get this clean, I'll go inside and start putting that new bed together. Right. So back inside then. Let me just kind of go through um did the process of doing this so you get a better idea of all these different uh, shape shapes of wood but first of all <clears throat> one thing I, I mean one thing that i like when i'm sleeping especially in the morning is proper darkness so these curtains even though they're, they're quite thick and pretty good there was because my you know this is where i have my head it's where i put my head when i take it off at night um i I've got this um, material, which is actually pillowcases that I've been using at my old place over my window. Kept that, sort of put uh, two layers of it over. That's made a, a big difference, so it's already more comfortable in that respect. So, I've got the mattress that I've got. So this is the one um, that was already here. And as you can see now, there are different pieces. So this big piece, has to stay here because this can be oops this can be lifted and taken out so there's a big board at the bottom there so what i'm going to have to do is um basically cut this off because the board so i've got it gripped there that's how thick you can see uh, the board is so the difference i'm gonna have with like space is um, I would guess about six centimeters. Now you might think, well, that's pretty insignificant, isn't it? Um, well, the thing is, you know, as I said, it's pretty tight already, and it's it's the the best that I can uh, get. So I might as well go for it. And plus, you know, I just like doing these things. So I'm going to take up that mattress, take up those bits, and um, hopefully everything will fit into place. Right, so here's that big piece in place. I didn't realise actually when um, when the the other sort of cushions were on there. You see how this kind of like angles up? I was like, oh no, this is going to be a lot more work. I'm having to cut things down. However, with the measurements that I I did, I um, just by chance managed to measure it in the right place so it only went up to there so it doesn't actually go into that so that one's in fine uh, the big piece is in fine as well but unfortunately this end one as you can see is sticking up so I'm going to need to uh, to cut 
a bit more off that and as I say um, cut this mattress piece off it's a little bit more work but it shouldn't take too long so I'm trying to get the mattress off I thought it would just be you know just resting on the board but it's pretty firmly glued on it's always got to be little details that just get in the way should slow things down so as you can see it's quite a chore oh break through come on aha I've broken through the barrier of paper hooray come on then let's do this <laughs> yeah it's not ah, oh a bit of a breakthrough, kind of. Feels a bit damp in there. Interesting. Actually, Jay told me about that. You get condensation creeping in to the the underside of the mattress. No one ever said it was going to be easy If you know what song that's from or what band write in the comments From quite a while ago No one ever said it was going to be easy Pains are deep in the barrier's broken Can't remember all the words But it's nearly done. It's nearly done. Yes. Uh, in my true perfectionist fashion, got to get all the little bits of foam off, little steps in there. Even though I'm not going to see them. What am I like, eh? Yeah, now I should be doing all this cleaning up later. I know this. I can't help myself. Ah, no. No stopping that. So, this one comes off. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be how much space, extra space I've got. Doesn't seem like much, as I said, but. It's the best I can possibly get with this uh, um, situation. Right then. Um, now, just before I cut that, I'm just going to check to see if that that board, this one, will fit in. Because I've marked off to take off this much. Hang on a second. It was worth checking, but unfortunately, it does still need... Oh, would you believe how close that is? Oh, we're talking about half a centimetre. <laughs> I've got to go. Oh, dear me. All right, back into the junkyard. Get my saw out again. It's really annoying because, you know, I'm, I'm aware of, like, people looking at themselves when they're filming and then when it looks sunny, it look, looks like you're looking away into the distance. I've got to remember to look at the lens which is there back soon and there we have it fits lovely I'm not really sure why I've got such big gaps there well I, I am sure I've obviously got the measurements wrong it's not going to make any difference because the mattress will be on it and I won't even notice that so <clears throat> I'm going to get the mattress on and see how, it's, how different it feels there we are. It's looking a lot better already, to be honest. It does look like I've got a lot more space. So I'm just going to clamber up there. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking because I've recorded a video before I'm trying to do like a seamless transition into it, but I can't because I've just got <laughs> so many things I've been getting on with. But this was that step that I'd made. Um, just over a week ago 
um, to make it just easier to get into bed because I mean with a you know such a restricted space it's difficult to get in anyway so um, yeah I've already been using this of course and it's it makes things a lot uh, easier so bear with me a second it's like clumbering and well, sorry about the visuals there you can't really see anything but um, okay so lying in bed now um let's see if i turn it yeah that was, i mean you know because you tend to lift yourself up now to be able to hit my shoulder i'd really have to go up uh, very far so it actually has made a good difference it has been worth this work indeed it's just gonna obviously make you know just the small things like your comfort uh, a lot better um and yeah i'm pretty pleased with that oh yeah other thing i'm gonna do up here as well because <laughs> just uh I just put my shoulders up. I was doing that to change over, but whilst carrying the uh, the camera in my hand at the same time, it was a bit awkward turning over. Um, right, so the, the thing to do to finish this off is over in this corner by the, the head, as you can see, we've got space to put some shelves where I want to, you know, just be able to like, keep uh, my clock. Um, glass of water and whatever um, so because I've now taken that mattress out I've got the that's the blackboard again I can fix something directly onto that so I'm thinking of doing a board up there and I found a oh, it's hidden there. I did find a, a piece of kind of plywood that was an under um, this mattress when and I just took it off, which will probably come in useful. So yeah, something like a, a backboard up there, and maybe say a shelf uh, about there, and maybe another one there. Probably that's enough. So I don't need too many things up here. I'm not going to sort of keep a book up here, I don't think, because there's just not really space to to read. I don't like lying on my back and reading because your arms just ache from holding it like that all the time okay anyway so yeah i'm pleased about that and it just looks better and feels better already nice one okay i'll see you in the next video